What's going on guys? I've been getting recently a lot of questions uh, on my gun adapters videos of all my videos that I make. Uh, there's been a lot of activity on those videos and probably for very good reason if you look at what's going on with the uncertainty of the world that we live in right now as well as the ammo shortages. So the main questions that a lot of guys are asking is what I'm going to answer in this video. What adapter should I get? First and foremost, any adapter is going to be useful. Um, it's going to be, you know, if you've looked around at any of these ammo shelves lately, uh, being able to find anything at all is getting pretty hard. So if you happen to do find something, you can buy an adapter for it, slap it right into your shotgun and have the ability to still uh, gather small game, use it for self-defense, or at least be able to make your shotgun go bang. Um, I'm just going to get right down to it and we're going to do some shooting. But uh, my top four picks for anybody to own would be 12 gauge to 9 millimeter doesn't matter what size but definitely I would go with the 8 inch 12 gauge to 22 LR simply because you can carry a brick of 500 which is equal in dimensions to a box of 20 shotgun shells or so uh, so 12 gauge to 9 millimeter 12 gauge to 22 LR again doesn't matter what lengths but I would definitely go with the 8 inch ones which you can see inside of this little box here also 12 gauge to 410 and 12 gauge to 20 um, 20 gauge has been on the shelves more than 12 gauge here recently, so definitely a good little adapter to have. And the other two are kind of no brainers because 9 millimeter is a lot more abundant when you can find it or is universally used nowadays. And 22 LR is just obvious. If you're looking for any way to carry them, this is what I carry mine in. These will carry the 8 inch ones and everything in between. And it does have little nice little uh, dividers in there that you can, you know, separate them all and Carry them all, carry, keep them lubed, keep them clean. Um, carries nicely in there. This is just a Plano Guide Series, uh, 3500 series is what it's called. And you saw the label there. Anyway, let's go ahead and get to doing some shooting. I got a couple of different uh, types of ammo that we're going to take out a few of these targets out here. So basically, the, the go-to adapters that I prefer over any is simply this. The 9mm and the 22 LR. Now this is their 8 inch version. This is their Pathfinder series. You can find these on gunadapters.com. I have a link down there in the description box of this video with a coupon code if you're looking to purchase one of these. Um, I've talked to gun adapters and they are not immune to the, <laughs> the orders that are flowing in with every uh, gun manufacturer parts manufacturer, all that stuff, they're getting hit the same way. So if you're looking to pick something up, now is the time to do it if you're looking to build something for your gun adapters or for your shotgun by gun adapters. I got a few targets sitting out there and what we're gonna go ahead and do is demonstrate some of the, the reasons why I chose this eight inch rifled uh, for the 12 gauge and which uh, the kind of muzzle energy and velocity that you can get out of this thing is great. So we'll just go ahead and flip this camera on and start taking out some of those targets and talk about this a little bit. All right, I got you zoomed in out there for a picture in picture. And uh, we're just going to go ahead and take out some of those water jugs. Actually, we'll put one on the steel real quick to make sure where this is hitting. I have also determined this adapter to shoot low right with this shotgun. So we'll go ahead and hold dead center on that steel target and just confirm where it's going. So we can basically pattern or sight this in and know where it's hitting. So definitely low, I got about a little bit in the center there, so that's not too bad. So we're going to do our best to hold for that hit. You can see these come right out with your fingernails there, you just pick them right out. Now let's just go ahead and put one down on that water jug. And with an 8 inch adapter for the 9mm, you're getting really good velocities and about carbine length muzzle energy. So let's go ahead and go for that water jug all the way on the right. Not bad. Let's switch ammo. I got a Hornady Critical Defense, and we'll take out that water jug right next to it. All right, so again, that was just target ammo, 115 grain Blazer. This is Hornady Critical Defense. I believe it is a 115 grain uh, hollow point with a polymer insert for some really good expansion. I'll go ahead and lay it down on that water jug next to the one we just shot. And you can see the difference in expansion or basically the energy that was transferred into that water jug. Again, using the Pathfinder series 8 inch rifled adapter, these things are highly accurate. I've stretched them all the way out to about 200 yards using uh, iron sights on my other shotgun, which I don't have today. 
but uh, just using a bead sight today at 35 yards, switching back to target ammunition. Gonna go ahead and put it right back on the steel, check for consistency. You can see that shot went just about where the other one was hitting. And this is, uh, you know, shooting with a bead. Um, I haven't really been fair in my videos. I've been using red dots and shotguns with iron sights. Now, most guys who own a shotgun own a bead sight shotgun. So I figured I would just go ahead and keep the, keep the playing field level in doing some of these reviews today. I'll take one more shot. I'm going to see if I can hit one of them little uh, water bottles dug into the berm back there. Just, just to see if I can hit it. And then we're going to switch to uh, 22 LR. I don't think I hit it. I think it just might have scared it. So again, this is the gun adapters, 12 gauge to nine millimeter, eight inch rifled Pathfinder series adapter. Again, I'll have the links down there in the description box below. It's just kind of a no brainer. If you're looking to pick the adapter, I would definitely go with the eight inch ones, which you don't have to, but if you want all that muzzle energy, velocity, and bullet stabilization with this longer barrel, kind of a no brainer. Nine millimeter is readily available when you can find it, if you're gonna find it right now. And so my other top pick is their eight inch 22 LR uh, Pathfinder series for the 12 gauge shotgun. And uh, I've done videos on all these, so we're not doing exact reviews on it. We're just talking about why I'm picking these. Just kind of demonstrating again, why I'm picking these. All right, we're just gonna go ahead and use, uh, what do I got in here? Got some blazer. Actually, I do believe that this is CCI standard velocity. And hopefully that dog that you might hear in the background shuts up. <laughs> All right, CCI blazer, I'm sorry. CCI standard velocity on the steel target. See where it's hitting. Hold dead center. <laughs> I think I might have flinched expecting the recoil of that nine. And you get that 22. Oh, man. All right. So again, you just pull them out with your fingertip, fingernails, which I cut mine down really short today, literally this morning. So I might have a little hard time getting these out of here. All right, let's do, uh, so it looks like that hit, again, low right, just like the other adapter. Now I have patterned this shotgun before and it does hit low right. So it just kinda, basically, that's how this barrel's pointing. Let's go ahead and go for that water jug directly behind the steel, if you can see it. And uh, see, what, we'll just go ahead and hit it with this little standard velocity and we'll switch to a different type of ammo. I think I hit that. We're gonna have to see if some of that water drops down. These standard velocities don't hit entirely too hard. So let's just go ahead and switch to a CCI mini mag. All right, I got a CCI 36 grain hollow point in there, mini mag. I'm gonna put it on the steel, see where it's hitting, and then adjust and hold correctly for the water jug. All right, so still low. I believe that is low right. That could have been low center. Getting harder to see out there with all those hits I have. Going back to that water jug directly behind it, off to the, slightly off to that right. That's definitely a hit. So I think I might have missed. My hold might not have been good for that last shot that I missed on. But we definitely hit that one. And again, the reason I'm going with uh, 22 LR, because first of all, a lot of people have actually stocked up on 22 LR. You know, if you were, if you've been through the last ammo getting. And uh, it's, just a, it's just a very versatile round to have in, in your 12 gauge shotgun. A brick of 500 is equal to a, the size of a box of 12 gauge shells and you're carrying 500 rounds of 22 LR. Having some kind of build like this is good if you want to leave this say in a cabin uh, just to have a versatile firearm to have, a tool to use to uh, gather small game and use as you need. Let's go ahead and take one more shot on a water jug on the ground. <laughs> I hit it. Um, but again, these standard velocities don't hit all that hard. Let's go back to uh, CCI Mini Mag, catch the jug next to it. Not bad. 
All right guys, so it appears my mic stopped working uh, midway through that. So rather than torment you with all the wind noise, I'm just gonna go ahead and round this video out right now. Um, what I've been using to carry these adapters, and you can see I have them just nicely organized inside of there, is this little Plano. This is a 3500 series. There is the, basically the picture of what you got, what I'm, what I'm using for this anyway. And uh, I, they fit them all nicely in there, the eight inch ones. And there's dividers in there that you can carry, you know, your three inch or whatever sizes that you have. So again, to, to uh, round this out, and I'm sorry I had to cut it short like I did, but this, you know, the mic noise was really bad. Um, 22 LR, nine millimeter, 20 gauge and 410 are my top four picks. If you're going to get any adapter, I would suggest you get those, which are the most common calibers out there. Um, so that when you do find that ammo, it's more than likely gonna be that ammo that you do find. Uh, and so then having a way to be able to shoot that is gonna be an excellent little opportunity to, you know, to, uh, to have a tool like that, the versatility in it. Again, if you're building something like this, something you're gonna keep at a cabin, uh, something you're going to keep in your truck or anything to basically be able to, you know, secure food or self-protection in this in these days where the shelves are completely empty. Uh, having a way to shoot any calibers that you might run across. So again, in, in, in my opinion, those are the top four. But in all reality, um, there's a good reason to just pick up any kind of adapter as you can when you can. Uh, just because who knows what type of ammo you're only going to be able to find for a while and who knows how bad this may get not to fear monger but look at the rest of the world um, so anyway again guys hope you appreciate this video if you wanted to get in on some of these adapters i got a coupon code down there in the description box of this video highly suggest that if you're looking to get any of these after adapters that you do it soon because again like i said gun adapters is not immune to the high demand in orders that are coming in with pretty much every website out there that has to do with firearms or any kind of uh you know tools like that so anyway guys appreciate hope you appreciate this video appreciate you guys watching and we'll catch you guys on the next one be safe out there